Hello pals, I'm going to show you how to use the PAL distillation pod. If this video helps you, please like it, leave a silly comment for the algorithm, and don't subscribe to me. Okay, so to use this pod it is a little bit complicated. I'm going to give you a quick tip for it right away. So what you want to do is you want to go... Oh my goodness, get out of my way, monkey. Go in here, and you want to sort it by... Sort all your pals by number. This will make it a lot easier later, trust me. All right, so another thing is what it does is it levels up your pal. You can see beside my pal, let me I'll show you in the party so I can kind of point out what I'm looking at. So he has a star ranking. So right now I already leveled him up once. It took eight different pals to level him up. All right, and it also leveled up his partner skill to level two. Okay, and it increased his base stats, just like I'm Pokemon for EVs. All right, so it increased his base stats. I'm going to show you that in a second. So we're going to pick this guy, and I'm leveling up to level 2, so I need 16 of the same pal in order to do that. Luckily, I've already got that, and it's showing the base stats it's raising by here. Sometimes I think it also raises this, but it looks like it's not happening for me for this time. But I am getting the recoil level 3. Now, there's something I want to test before I do it. Let's bring out our guy. Of course, I'm hungry. You're always bloody hungry in this game. All right, so let's bring out our guy. And then we're going to use our move, and we're using it on the training dummy. So, looks like I'm doing around 80 to 100 damage to that training dummy. Okay, and that lasted about 5 seconds, I think. I didn't really time it. I should have probably timed it, but oh, whatever. Okay, so now we're going to go into this. And we are going to give it to him, and we're going to do 16. Make sure the first guy you click on is the one that is getting upgraded. The rest are all being sacrificed. All right, 16. Bye-bye. There we go. So now my pal is level 2. All right, and he had his his uh, attack stat was 229 before, and now it's 240. So it went up just a little bit, but remember, it's just their base stats. It's raising their base stats. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pull him out again. <gasps> Looks like I'm going to have to wait a little bit for his uh, his move to... Come back. Okay, so his move is now working again. So we're just going to go ahead and start shooting. Oh, yeah, way better. Okay, so yeah, so it also increases the damage uh, for him for his special moves. And that's not even including that I haven't leveled him up since the upgrade or anything. So it just makes them way stronger. If you're going to be building a team for battling, this seems like something you have to do, okay, to really get them strong enough to take on some of these main bosses. But anyways, that's it. That's how that's how it works. Let's see how many we need. We need. Th I figured it was going to be 32, so I got to catch 32 more if I want to get another level. So even if you've completed the 10, you've caught 10 of them and got the uh, the XP EXP bonus, there's still reasons to catch more, especially for the ones that you're going to be using for battling. If this video helped you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for the algorithm and don't subscribe to me.